Good Thursday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this April 19th. It is 4.35 a.m. Central Time. Podcast time here, 43 degrees in Bowling Green, currently a brisk northwesterly wind coming in, uh, well, about 20, let me see here, get the latest from the Kentucky Mesonet. 20, well, 15, but there's been some gusts of 22, 25. We've had a gust of uh, peak gust at 26 this morning. So, yeah, the uh, winds are still rather brisk in wake of that uh, little upper level system that made its way through the area last night with a little bit of light rain. Not everybody got that. Most people did not. There's still some folks north of us getting a little bit of light rain and even a few snowflakes up along the Ohio River this morning because of the colder air coming in. But uh, as you're getting up this morning and getting ready for work or kids are getting ready for school, it's going to be decidedly different when you step outside. It's going to be brisk. It's going to be cold or chilly. So that wind is now from the northwest, and that's going to make it a rather chilly day for us today. And then we'll have to talk about some widespread frost across the area tonight. The sky's clear, and the wind's calmed down. But we're not going to stay chilly, as you'll soon hear in the forecast. Hey, we hit a high of 77 yesterday, officially at the Bowling Green Airport at 2.17 p.m., That was 6 degrees warmer than the average high of 71. 44 was our low temperature for the day. That's 2 degrees shy of the average of 46. One year ago, we had a high of 78 and a low of 60 back in 2017. And as I mentioned, no measurable rainfall from that little weak upper level system as uh, the cold front made its way through. Uh, But some folks did get just trace amounts of rain last evening and really early this morning. Right now, it is just a a lot of clouds and the wind that is with us this morning. Uh, So just be aware of that. You're going to find, it, especially through this morning, wind gusts of 15 to 25. And in some cases, maybe even close to 30 miles per hour. But that wind will start to relax gradually as we go through the day so i'm going to call it partly sunny but chilly today breezy at first but those winds will die down later i'm going to go with a high of 54 with a northwest wind at 13 then for tonight as the winds die down become calm skies clear it will be a cold 32 that's freezing And so a frost advisory has been issued for the entire WBKO viewing area, even beyond that, and pretty much all down into Middle Tennessee for tonight uh, till about 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Frost advisory. So while it's not a freeze warning, we're not looking for temperatures to dip down into the upper 20s. It will be in the low 30s for the most part, and therefore... Some of the more protected areas and hills and valleys uh, are more likely to see some patchy frost this evening or early Friday morning. But then things seem to uh, actually level off the next few days. I I like what I'm seeing here for uh, the weekend and even into the beginning of next week. Uh, Temperatures have found kind of a leveling off, a, a happy balance, if you will, a happy medium. We're going to go from uh, sunny 62 on Friday to a sunny 68 on Saturday. How long has it been since we've had a dry Saturday? I haven't counted, but it's been a while. But Saturday looks nice, sunny 68. Sunday, also dry 68. But rain does come in Sunday night. Uh, There's a low-pressure system that's going to be tracking along the Gulf Coastal states. And an extension of that low is going to uh, push up into southern Kentucky, middle Tennessee. So Sunday night and Monday, rain will move in. Showers, for the most part. It's not going to be a heavy rain, but 
Scattered showers Saturday night and then into Monday, a 50% chance and 67. And then that southern tracking low finally moves away, but just in time for that and a high of 68 with a 40% chance of showers Tuesday. Here comes a cold front out of the plains with a 30% chance of showers and the high at 68. So a little bit unsettled toward the uh, beginning of next week, but temperatures are going to hold more seasonable in the mid to upper 60s. And right now, even looking at the 10-day trend, I do not see any big shots of cold air after today or tomorrow morning when we have the frost. So that's good. All right, know the weather before it knows you. Have a great day, and uh, as always, count on us for your weather. By the way, a little uh, note here to you podcasters, to probably uh, one of my more loyal audiences. Uh, I will be out tomorrow and Monday. Uh, Miss Sheila is having a knee scope. Not not complete not complete knee replacement surgery, but she's having a scope done, and she's been uh, hurting in her knee, her right knee. So I'll be uh, with her. She's going to have that procedure done tomorrow, and we're going to take the weekend to recoup and Monday. So I will be back on Tuesday. Okay, just letting you guys know in case you wonder where's the podcast, where's the beef, where? <laughs> okay. So uh, Chris Reese will fill in for me tomorrow, and Matt Stevens will fill in for me on Monday. But I'll be around. I'm just going to chill out this weekend and take care of Miss Sheila. Okay. But in the meantime, know the weather before it knows you. Have a great day. I'll see you live at 5.30 on AM Kentucky, 11 a.m. on midday. Streaming live to the WBKO app and WBKO.com. Oh, by the way, oh, by the way, I should have mentioned this right off the top. Besides the uh, the fact I'm not here tomorrow and Monday, only you guys know this. Only you. You're the first to know, as I always promise you podcasters. You get it, so you get to hear it first. Starting April 30th, we're starting at 5 a.m. 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 Kentucky. Yes. 30 minutes earlier, now a two-hour show starting Monday, April 30th, AM Kentucky is expanding and starting at 5 a.m. So that's why I asked you a couple of weeks ago, uh, what is the best time to do the podcast and blah, 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 and all that stuff. And I've made some adjustments and everything's worked out. You see that I am doing the podcast earlier. That's That was practice. Uh, to get in, <laughs> to get into uh, the earlier AM Kentucky start. So, there you go. Now you know before anybody else knows. April thirtieth, five AM, AM Kentucky. Later today, join me for my radio show if you get a chance. Classic hits, Sam one hundred point seven, between three and seven PM, or you can listen online anytime at BowlingGreenSam.com. <laughs> 